Hey, my name is Ben. Thanks for stopping by. Welcome to 20 Degree Southwest Minnesota. Uh, I wanted to show you real quick how to uh, manifold LP tanks together. So uh, here we have two LP tanks. This is a thousand gallon LP tank on this side and this one over here is a 500 gallon. So um, I just was able to purchase this one from a farmer so that we can just purchase fuel one time per year in the summer and get the summer fill price and then hopefully that'll last us through the whole winter. I think it will. So the way you want to do this, uh, you could do it a couple different ways, but this is, I think, the best way to do it. Uh, what we have is we have two first stage regulators. You can see the red regulator up there and one right here. Uh, this one's just an older style, so it's quite a bit bigger. Uh, but both of these regulate the, the pressure coming out of the tank uh, down from whatever it would be in the tank, which is potentially pretty high at 100 degrees, it's 175 PSI, zero is 24. And so obviously it changes between there to minus 40 is 1.5 PSI. So if your tank is minus 40, it's not going to work <coughs> very good. Uh, anyway, so we, we regulate that down to 10 PSI at each tank. And then we have our, our copper line going into the ground. That's a 3 8 inch copper line, which is adequate for typical household uh, because it's at 10 PSI and not the 11 inches of water column like it will be once it goes into the house. And this comes down into the ground, and right about here I have it teed and brazed a connection that goes over to this tank here. Uh, so I have added valves on the bottom side of these regulators because I when I switch the tanks over, I don't want to be applying continuous back pressure to this regulator. So you turn this off and then you know for sure you're not putting any pressure on uh, the regulator from below, which would not be the typical way pressure would be applied to these regulators. So that's pretty much it. Tie those two lines together, copper line goes into the ground, those connect together. If you wanted to make your connections above the ground, so if you didn't have uh, a way to braze the line underground. You could run your line down from your first tank and then over and up into this area here. And then you could manifold it together and then run your and tie them together and then run it down and out if you didn't want to have a connection under the ground, which would be a good way to do it as well. So <clears throat> basically just add this half inch gas valve after each one of your regulators so when you switch it over I'll just do it right now because right now this tank is on and I'm going to turn on the other tank so first thing we'll do is close this valve here and then we'll close this valve here and then come over to this tank <coughs> we'll open this valve actually you know I think we'll open this valve first I always open these valves real slow better for the regulators if you can <clears throat> and then uh, we'll open this valve so there you go now we're switched over so a pretty simple process that's how these tanks are manifolded together I hope this video helped you out if it did hit that thumbs up button and subscribe down below for more videos like this one and hit that bell icon if you want to be notified about future videos I'll try to keep posting <coughs> Interesting videos are just about the uh, homestead here in southwest Minnesota on the prairie. And, uh, yeah, hopefully it'll be interesting. Hopefully you'll hang out. But whatever works. I hope it helped you either way. Talk to you in the next video.